Hi. Now, in this video, what I want to show you is how we go about finding the equation of a tangent to a circle. And the method I'm going to show you doesn't involve differentiation, although you could use it, but this method tends to be a lot quicker, easier. Now, let's just go back to our equation of a circle, which we discussed earlier in the series. Remember, it had this standard form of a Cartesian equation, where if you had a circle with center x1, y1, and radius r, any point x, y on the circle would satisfy this equation here. Now if we're out to find the equation of a tangent at a point on the circle with coordinates say a and b, then remember this line would be perpendicular to the radius at that point. Let's just mark that in. Now being a line passing through the point a, b, that tangent would have this form. y minus the y coordinate b equals the gradient m all multiplied with x minus the x coordinate at the point it passes through. Now we can get the gradient m very easily because we know that the tangent should be perpendicular to this line here. And we can work out the gradient then of this line and use the perpendicular gradient rule to get the gradient of the tangent. Remember, that is minus the reciprocal of this gradient. So that's basically the method then that we're going to use. And I've got an example here where we've got to find the equation of a tangent to the circle x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 8y minus 5 equals 0 at the point p with coordinates minus 5, 8. And we've got to give our answer in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0 where a, b and c are integers. Now the first thing we need to do is convert this form of the equation of a circle into this form here where we can establish the coordinates of the center of the circle and the radius. Now I'm assuming that you watched a previous video in this series where I showed you how to convert this into this form. We did it by completing the square. So you might want to pause the video at this stage and just have a go at finding that center then and radius of this circle. Otherwise, I'll just give you the solution in a few moments. Okay, so if you were to work that out, you should have established that the center was at minus 2, 4 and the radius was 5. What I did here just briefly was rearrange the terms in our equation so that we put the x's together and the y's together and then I've got the constant minus 5 there equaling 0. I completed the square over x squared plus 4x. This gave me x plus 2 all squared minus 4. And I completed the square over those two terms y squared minus 8y to give me y minus 4 all squared minus 16. And then I subtracted that 5. And then when I simplified it, I got this form of the equation and I could see that the center was at negative 2, 4, and the radius was the square root of 25, okay, giving us 5. So, what I need to do now is just draw a sketch of this question. We've got our center here now at minus 2, 4, I've labeled it C, and we've got our point P on the circle with coordinates minus 5, 8. So our tangent then is going to be perpendicular to this line here, PC. So I need to establish the gradient then of PC next. And we do that in the usual way that the gradient of CP is the difference in the y-coordinates, 8 minus 4. 
okay, 8 minus the 4 here, and then that's divided by the difference in the x coordinates, minus 5, minus, minus 2. And that gives us minus 4 thirds. Now that we've got the gradient of CP, we get the perpendicular gradient to CP, which will be the gradient of the tangent. And so we take the negative reciprocal of 4 thirds. Essentially, what we do is we turn the fraction upside down and switch the sign. So that's just going to give us 3 quarters. And that will be the gradient then of the tangent at P. It's perpendicular to this gradient here. And now that I've got the gradient of the tangent, I can now use this form of the equation of the straight line. So if I do that, I'm going to get the equation to the, of the tangent at P is y minus the y coordinate at P, which is the 8, equals the gradient of the tangent, which we've seen is 3 quarters, all multiplied by x minus the x coordinate at P, minus 5. So to get this into this form here, I need to get rid of the fraction 4, so I multiply both sides by 4. 4 times the y is 4y, 4 times minus 8 is minus 32, and that leaves me with, me with 3 times all of this bracket, 3 times x plus 5, which gives me 3x plus 15. And then if I rearrange this by adding 32 and subtracting 4y from both sides, it simplifies to the form we need. 3x minus 4y plus 47 equals 0. OK, so that is basically how you go about finding the equation of a tangent to a circle without using differentiation. So I hope you can use this method then to do similar examples. So thanks for watching and hopefully see you in another video.